But I want you to realize what he's ever done through anyone, he can do through anyone. Amen? So when he said, whosoever will, that carries right on over to whosoever will lay hands on the sick. Amen? Amen? He said, if you're a believer and you lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. And that word recover is a particular word because it literally means to take something. Actually, it's talking about healing. And it literally means to take your healing as a personal possession. So when the believer lays hands on the sick, the sick has to take their healing as a personal possession. It's mine now. Why? Because the believer laid hands, and now I'm going to recover. Recover does not mean get well. See, we think recover means, okay, you go, and as you go, you're going to be healed, which there are some that get healed that way. But to recover does not mean to wait, and at some point it's going to happen. To recover means at the moment hands are laid, you take it as your personal possession. Now, what does that sound like to you? Kind of sounds like Mark eleven twenty three, doesn't it? In 22, he tells us, have faith in God. Then in 23, he says that when you pray and believe that you receive right then. Isn't that right? You believe that you receive when you pray, Amen. not when you see. Right. right? So when we pray, when we lay hands, you believe, you receive, you take it. Right then, you have recovered. Amen. 